you can't compete with the cinema. You can't compete with media. You can't compete with the, the pithy things on its own terms. So I think the challenge is to be um, authentic. These, these are the opportunities, I think, in the midst of this. To be authentic, to be succinct, to be um, filled with a, a, a sense of testimony that brings alive the story of hope, the story of grace, the story of forgiveness, but also the story of challenge. Uh, it's not so much that, you know, um, we are Christians and sort of loved by God and, and we deserve this because we're whatever. It is that we have received these gifts in order that they may be shared. My hunch today is that there is a thirst for authenticity. And, and that is what is going to attract people, that you have something to say, that you actually believe what you're saying. There's a certain credibility to the fact that you are willing not only just to say it, but somehow the way you live and the way you organize your life and priorities suggests that there's something seminal about what you're saying that I can see evidence of in your life. Um, there's a lot of posers today. And I think that our society and the culture is very wary of, of people. They're not arrogating authority to people just because of your position. It is what is the, the currency of credibility that you bring. So there are challenges, yes. I think attention span and, and um, so much else to do, including a lot of good things to do. You know, you look, for instance, on a number of the fundraising uh, efforts that are runs, you know, these kind of run for cancer and so forth. Most of them are organized on a Sunday morning. And I know pe members of my congregation are, love to support these causes and, and they participate from time to time and they say, you know, I'm not going to be at church because I want to do this. And so there's all those sorts of things. But I feel rather than fight it, I, I, I think it is a way of trying to see how that can be woven into helping people realize that this could be seen as part of their ministry. How do they understand bearing witness by the support that they offer to this cause or that cause? But also helping them remember that it's not a replacement for the word of Scripture. It's not a replacement for the experience of, of God's grace and the experience of forgiveness uh, and mercy and the call to engage in justice, to kind of risk our lives for the mending of the world.